Welcome back, welcome back to another Police Cam Reactions video. Today we are going to be reacting on a woman that barricades herself in a motel room and ends up getting shot in the process. After, she's the one that calls the police, which is pretty crazy. But if you like the video, and if you like my hat, my new hat, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to help me reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. And uh, we're not we're not far off. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly, but surely. I, I realize, you know, I'm just getting back into it. The algorithm's got to kick in, but you know what I mean. So let's get into this video. LRPD. Now this. Just want to make sure you're okay. This is like a, like a two-part video deal because they go, I did read some of the description. They go to her motel room the first time and she doesn't let them in. So then they leave and then they, they come back a second time. So we're going to be watching two of these. So if you don't want to watch this boring, boring part, you know, skip ahead. You know, probably three or four minutes, and you'll get to the the better part. Okay. Approximately four minutes later. Oh, you hear something? Police department. Can you please open the door? Talk to us. I you hear. Me. I hear dead people. We got Caesar out in the out in the lobby in handcuffs. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh. She says you fucking asshole. Don't bang on my door like that. I guess I guess she gave the description to the people downstairs, so she don't want to talk to the cops. So they can't arrest the man if they don't talk to the accuser, you know what I mean? And just because someone says you got a gun doesn't mean you have a gun. You know what I mean? They gotta they gotta find the gun, see the gun. So let's keep on and let's keep on getting on. Yeah, we got him in custody. We need to talk to you to find out if there's a crime. <laughs> 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 Our help? You gonna let Caesar in? Are you gonna let Caesar in? Yeah, the guy that rented this room. What? Well, we got him in handcuffs because you called the police on him. You said he had a gun? Huh? Now, just the way she's talking, you can tell she's either really drunk or she done some bad drugs. One or the other, she's on one of those two, drugs or alcohol. Guarantee you. Hey! I, I think she's done talking, bro. She's looking out for people. Hello? Officers determined that an assault with a deadly weapon had not occurred when Archer called 911. The officers attempted to communicate with Archer through a closed door, but she refused their request to exit the room. <laughs> officers chose not to force entry and left the scene. About an hour later, the motel staff located a master key to the guest's room and requested that officers return to the motel and remove Archer from the room. Hi, this is the at Canova Park. Um, the police officers were here just a little while ago, and they told me to call back if I had any more issues. Um, the general manager uh, let me know the different way to get open the door, uh, so we need we need her out of there. Uh, so I'm just calling back to if we can get them back uh, real quick um, to open the door. So what is she doing? 
Uh, she's been in the room. Uh, she called earlier to say that the other guy had a gun, but he yeah. doesn't, that they were already here. I, and I they... talked to her earlier. So is she locked inside a room or something? Or? Yeah, she locked herself inside the room um, and everything, but we have the manual key to get op get the door open now, which we didn't bef before. Okay. So, so what, the um, officers couldn't, couldn't find any way to get her out before, or what? Uh, yeah, before they, they didn't have another way to get her out. But I got in contact with the general manager, and he um, there's a manual key to open the door now oh, that we'd hold, be able to get her out. Hold on one second. Let me talk to my office. Thursday, okay, thank you. I'm so sorry. Now, wait a second here. Wait a second. So, she didn't do anything wrong except for stayed in her room. So, they called the officers back. Because they couldn't open the door the last time? That makes no sense at all. Once an once a officer comes and investigates and finds that there was no wrongdoing and no laws being broke, that case is cleared, closed, thrown in the fucking trash, and that's the end of it. Just because she stays in the room and keeps it locked, and she probably won't let that dude seizure in. Doesn't mean that she's breaking any laws. I mean, I guess you could say she kind of is if he, he's the one that rented the room. And I guess if he wants her out of there, which they're not saying that. They're just saying that the hotel has the master key if they want to come back and enter the room. Which the officers should say no. Because they already closed their investigation. Unless they want to check her welfare, her well-being, to make sure she's okay. Now, I can see maybe that, but that would be the only reason. So, let's keep on going. 721 come in. 897, go ahead. 21 the PR is requesting you return to Van Ellen Street. He has a key to open the door where the suspect is. Can you verify with our PR if the key's going to work? The key we were given earlier would not unlock the door. 2197, he states the general ma manager advised him of a manual key that will open the door. Roger. The officers ordered Archer to exit. When she refused... Okay, so now they're... Uh, calling her a suspect and you just heard him say that they ordered her to open the door and she refused they never once ordered her to open the door they kept asking her if she would so she, they can make sure that she was okay they never once told her that she has to open the door which i know in some states if they think that your life is endangered or you're about to hurt yourself or whatever they can break in your door and whatnot but she, you can just tell she was either drunk or a little high so i'm 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 a little confused here on what their reasons of going back and opening the door is they use the key provided by motel staff to open the door and bolt cutters to cut the chain lock and attempted to force the door open. Hey, listen. Open it. I already have. We're going to open the door. No, you're... Yes, we are. Dude, are you crazy? This is not acting. You're going to fucking hell. <laughs> I'm going to take you. Try to fight us. Listen, open are the door now. Are you fucking stupid? Back up now so nobody gets hurt. Do it now. No, because you're not cops, bitch. Back up. You're not forcing me to shoot, Brennan. Back up. Trump, get smart get with your stupid bitches. See the laser? We're gonna tase you. Oh shit, look at that. You see the gun? That's why she ends up getting shot. And who the fuck is Brennan? Who is Brennan? She said, don't make me shoot, Brennan. Whoever the fuck that is. I don't know, but I paused it at the wrong time, it looks like. <laughs> So let's uh let's go back just a little bit so we don't tase. miss it. See the laser? We're gonna tase you. Whoa! Oh my god! Drop the gun! I see your hand! 
Damn. Why would she, she literally put the gun out the fucking door? I mean, you know, like, you know, like when some people have a bad trip or whatever, and, you know, they smoke that PCP shit and they act, you know, like they're, like it's an out of body experience or whatever. Or some people are, just have mental issues. You know what I mean? Like, the way she was acting before and the way she's acting now, she's still acting like there's some um, head issues or she's really, really drunk or she's on a really bad drug spree <laughs> on some bad shit. And the cops should, should know, you know, they're... There's red flags throughout this whole thing. And I'm still wondering why the fuck they even went back. She could have, she, she was probably already passed out before they start banging on the door again. That's crazy. Show me your hands right now. Oh my God, somebody get up. Oh my God, Show us your hands. See, Show me your hands right now. She still doesn't know that they're real. Cops. That's crazy. Come out right now. Get down on the ground. Come out now. Get a shield up here too. You know, I understand, you know, this is a dangerous situation, but this is an older lady. You know, you already shot her. You know you already shot her. She dropped the gun immediately because she heard the gunshots and ran and dropped the gun like any probably typically scared woman or man would have done in that situation. So, what's the need for the shield and this and that? I know there might be uh, things that they gotta follow, procedures that they gotta follow, but you know what I mean? It's an older woman. Just go in and fucking help her and put her in cuffs. Do what you do. Put out... She's still telling we're going to jail. Oh, Show me your hands and come out right now. No, I don't want to be around you. Please get him. Please get him. Please get him. Please Please get him. Please get him. Please get him. Please get him. Please more red flags. That's like three I've seen since I came back from Paws. Come out right now, okay? Everybody okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, you just communicate, okay? Ma'am. Do you need any medical attention? Are you hit? Do you need yes. an ambulance? Okay, if you can come out with your hands up, we'll bring an ambulance to check you out. She's oh still pounding their fucking nuts. So, Man, when you get a step out with your hands up, come out with your hands up. So, now they 100% know that she's been shot. And they're still just lagging it on. Just chilling out in the hallway. Go in the fucking room already, will you? Hands up, and everything will be okay. We'll get an ambulance for you. We'll take care of you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, now you're all officers. You're going to 
What's your first name? We'll wait for a shield. She's not, she's not responding. We'll get the field to, with the shield to take a look. And we'll go from there, okay? Ma'am, ma'am, we're gonna need you to come outside with your hands up. She's still coming. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. We'll take care of you, okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll come out here. We'll get your belongings in a second. But we need you to come out first. Come on out. Come on out right now. Show me your hands. Come out, lady, already. Show me your hands right now. Somebody get the taser. Come over here right now. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Excuse me. Ah, what the hell? Show me your hands. Take the take that off your hands right now. Fellas, needs coming. I hit the wrong button. Everybody screws up every once in a while. Come out with your hands up right now so we can get you medical attention. What's your name? Julie Archer! Julie, listen. You're not in any trouble right now. We just want to make sure that you're okay. And then you don't have any injuries. I don't want you around me. I want to get my shit and go and I'm a sucker. Okay. Just let me go. Yeah, for all you people. Come on out. Come on out. Show me your hands. I'm not leaving. She was literally just standing like five, seven foot from the doorway. They could visually clearly see her and see that she had nothing in her hands. Why haven't they gone in the room yet? Jesus. Get in there already. We'll get your stuff. Show me your hands now. To what hospital? More torture? We'll take you to Northridge. What hospital do you want to go to? Come on out. How many damn cops are out there, man? Sounds like there's about 10, 15. Come on out. Yes. Come on out. This is. Give me a taser. We have paper. Okay. You lethal with the taser. She comes out again with that with that towel wrapped around her hand. Pop her with the taser, okay? So now they're wanting the taser. It's covered. It's covered. Okay. So check it out. You watching, Shield? Yes, sir. Okay. Directly to the right. She's in the bathroom. You're going to put the shield and put it that way, okay? Yes, sir. Then we're going to see if she's still got her hands covered. We're going to pop it in with the taser. You understand? She has a towel around her. We don't know if she has a towel. Okay. You ready? So she still has her hand wrapped up with a towel. They're going to taser her because she's trying to stop her from bleeding. Come on, man. You done got the gun. Get the shield up. Julie, show us your hands now. You understand? Can you see it? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. She's right there around the corner. Right here to the right. Julie! Show us your hands right now. What do you see? What do you see? She's wrapped with the towel. Okay. You hands on? Sir. Give me two hands on. Okay. Because we're going to have to go hands on, all right? These two are hands on. 
Benji, your taser. Ready? I'm lethal. You guys are hands on. Move. Push her up in the fall. Push her in. Push her in. Don't move. Don't move. Give me your hands. I'm not doing anything. Give me your hands. Not in her okay, hand. Uh, okay. <laughs> Julie, you okay? A whole lot of hearts. Okay, let's get her out of here. Stay there, we're going to put her closet. Okay. Oh my god, I have to do it. She's bleeding pretty good. You guys go for it? Go for it. Let's get her out. She's going to need an RL. She's hit. Yeah. Uh, right wrist. Come on. Let the RA know. I already have it on standby. She's been coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Let's go, Archer pushed. That's crazy. I don't need to hear nothing from you, dude. We we done heard it, seen it, and it's crazy. I understand that you know when someone points a gun out the door. You probably don't have a choice but to fire. But I'm still confused. So if anyone knows why or the reason that the cops would have had to go back to the room in the first place for all this to happen. And uh, why they took so long to enter the room after they shot her and they already recovered the weapon. I mean, she even clearly came to the door once and was standing like seven foot away. So, you know, that's that's crazy. But I can I can see it from the cop's point of view too. You know, they don't want to enter a room just in case she does have a backup gun or something like that. But you could tell there was a lot of red flags through the whole thing that she was either very drunk or she was on some bad drugs or. She was just having a mental breakdown. If anyone knows which one it was, please leave it in the comments. And uh, if you like the new hat, leave that in the comments as well. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you like it a whole lot, share it. And if you want to keep watching me do reactions to these types of videos, or if you have a video that you would like me to react to, please let me know. And please subscribe so I can hit that 1K subscriber mark. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place, same reactions. Y'all be safe out there.